On this segment of Select Series, we're going to talk a little bit about the PGS program and, and what we do in that arena, literally, Joe, because it's been kind of fun. We've had a lot of success with the Bulls in our lineup, and we, we're going to reference a few of them here in a couple minutes. But, but Joe, you've, you've had a chance to judge the show. You're pretty familiar with it. This phenotype, genotype show that Angus put together, a uh, pretty important educational piece for the youth and we've been able to succeed at it, but give us, give us your take on it. Yeah, I, I think it is educational, but I will say I, I think it's for the adults too. I really do. I, and maybe this show eventually grows into um, maybe into an open show category as well. But I think the important parts here is obviously data has been very, very important for many, many years, but Phenotype has been very important for many, many years. But, you know, it's a new concept, four or five years in the making here of, of shows that I think, I think what it's doing, it, it's actually putting the, both of those together and um, how, you know, proof that we can have cattle that are very pleasing structurally and phenotypically and designed the way we want them with, with the data points that are, you know, demanded by the industry. It is a great opportunity for the youth to learn that, but uh, after judging that show, there were so many adults that would come up and say, hey, what what do you think about this or that, or how you put emphasis on it? And, and that's the neat thing about this show. You, you can place them phenotypically with the type cattle you like, but on that EPD profile, as a judge, you have the ability to put the weighted emphasis where you where you choose to. And so each judge that's that's done that could probably do it uh, in different manners. Right. But it's still combining uh, the phenotype with the EPDs. And I think that's so important this day and time. We've got a lot of data. We've got the best database in the world at American Angus Association. and and we rely on that. But as we put more reliance towards strictly data, some of the unmeasurable things through structure and, and the integrity of that animal and their ability to get out and function in different environments, some of that can get, get lost. So I think the PGS show, it is educational, but it puts it back together in perspective for uh, breeders and, and the youth program. The PGS show has made probably the the phenotype crowd look more at genotype and mm -hmm. understand it, and vice versa. I think it's probably helped some of the genotype crowd accept and know what a really good looking critter is supposed to be. Right. There's a science to all this, but there's an art too. And if you can put it all together, that that's kind of what the show does. Yeah. So. Yeah. We do want to mention a handful of bulls that we feel yeah. like have a a real place in the PGS shows and. I mean, we'll start off with Growth Thun, and Growth Thun's already had his chance at success, but I don't think it's over. I mean, those, no. cat, those cattle are too good, and they do number up. So when you, when you make the right mating on that sweetheart cow, that's, you're going to get something that's going to be pretty competitive. And then you, we got a son that also looks like he can step into the same shoes of Growth Thun, and that's Rival, who not only is he a Growth Thun, somebody, he's got, he's got some numbers that in the PGS show will boost him to a higher level. Yeah, we're talking about two bulls there, father and son, that have good data themselves, but they add that phenotypical piece. Now we're bringing craftsmen on the scene, and, and I know this year there were some craftsmen daughters exhibited there at the National Junior Heifer, Heifer Show and had some classes, one in the PGS, sired by craftsmen, and he puts that extra look, that thin neck, but still yet that deep body and sound structure, and added that EPD profile that, that gets them up there, and, and depending on what the judge does, you boil it down to the indexes, the dollar C, dollar M combination, that's what Craftsman does really good, and, right. and he's an he's a excellent choice to, to put into that category. Yeah, and another one is Statesman, that we've, we've seen, we started to see quite a few of those cattle show up in different places, and what, that bull has really impressed me because I think thus far, most of the cattle I've seen are better than I thought they might be. I mean, that, oh, that bull yeah. is a doggone good bull yeah. with a powerful growth equation. 
but it's he's putting a look on cattle that's going to be very competitive down the road. Yeah, he's he, they're they are very nice looking and and they're powered up and we all know show ring, you know, it doesn't have to be the biggest, but they they can't they can't be small in that. So this bull brings the performance and he certainly brings a big data set with it. The step up bull on our lineup. He's another one that on paper just brings that balance all across the board. And you could see him being very useful on multiple different bloodlines of females that, that he could tie that EPD package together and he's not gonna hurt you on the phenotype. You're gonna uh -huh. gain some shape. They're gonna have some width and some depth and some stoutness to them. And so we got several bulls in there and it's, it's back to the art of putting what they bring to the table with what the owner's females are. And, but I think all those bulls placed in the right, right uh, mating could, could put one right at the top of one of those PGS classes. So. Yep, and we'll just say it this way, Joe. Good luck exhibitors.